Oh, I'm cutting it close. Oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh. Dream, man. It's the dream right there, the future. The future of this truck. I want to go high and I want to go, I want to lift it to the sky. I don't want to put big tires on it. It's the plan, man. I've been looking at different setups for a long time now. I want to make sure I get this right. Let me know what I should do in the comments below. So here's something confusing about this truck. You know how Chrysler, well, when Chrysler got taken over by Fiat, Ram went separate, thought it was a great idea. Ram went separate from Dodge, so it became Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. So it's kind of weird, because you, you get into a Ram, and then you see it says Dodge right here. So that's the only place you'll see it. You won't see it anywhere outside, so it's kind of weird. Look at that weird car, man. Giant wheels, oh my gosh. That thing is stuffed. It's not really my type of car. I gotta have it set that doesn't automatically lock, so I always have to go all the way into town. I haven't even locked it yet, it's weird. Yeah, I figured, you know, the snow would brush off while I'm just leaving out of my driveway and everything, but that was certainly not the case. I've actually never driven this long with snow still packed on my windshield. I can only see out of, well, less than half of it, actually. Oh, I've never actually seen that garage. I'm gonna check that out. Someone come by this plow truck for eight grand. What? It's a lot of money right there. Check it out, man. They made the city of Harrisburg. Do not enter Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m. It's actually really cool. Hey, check it out. New body and repair shop. Brand new. There we go. Finally back. white Dodge up you probably can't even see it it looks so sweet yeah so we're all the way into town now and the truck is still looking relatively shiny out there I don't see any salt on it so I think we made a clear getaway here from the salt hopefully but it could could start to rain or something during the day I hope it doesn't but don't get me wrong I still like to look at the bright side of things I think we'll be good oh look at that there it is, the snap-on van. Gotta love snap-on tools, bro. Oh, yeah. I swear I just saw a 2019 Silverado already. Lifted GMC. Wouldn't have caught it fast enough. Damn, there's nice trucks out here, but I swear I saw a 2019. That was ridiculous. I'm not sure if they're already out, but maybe some people already have them. So this is the biggest BS. I've been sitting in traffic here for a very long time. This is awful. Yep, we finally made it here to the park lot. I'm gonna show you guys these wheels again. Check that out. Those are literally my exact wheels, but on this GMC. They look smaller though. They're probably 16, 17s though. He stopped me, walked over and talked to me saying that, yeah, windshield's illegal. I, I figured it would clean up by now, but it's obviously not the case. So I have to clear that up. All right, finally made it here. Hit you off when I get up, bye. So what's up? Big engine, cold start, warped manifold. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. All right, that's the plan. Sounds like a good one. See ya. <laughs> and Matt's Wilt right there. He's heading out to the gym right now. I go on. Uh, I go on other days, so I'm not going today. I got to head home. It's also very freezing. I was standing outside talking to him for a while. So there is the truck, man. 
Still looking very nice. Very, very nice. Let me see if I can start it from here. Having cold started a, well, I mean a remote start. Oh, that was pretty instant. Look at from right here. Gosh, man, it looks so good. Just the height of that, 2,500. If it was a 1,500, I wouldn't look at it the same, such as that lifted one right over there. But gosh, dude, the height of these. And these are only 31s. Now you can only imagine the ones that the ones at the show that we went to, and you could see those with the 33s. This truck would sit so high. Oh yeah, I forgot to forgot to clean that off. Damn it. I'm gonna have to somehow use my hands for this too. Oh man. I don't think this is happening, man. Picture of the two trucks got a four-wheel drive pro 1500 i'm seeing these more and more four-wheel drive pro trucks they're becoming all over the place and then we got my cummins right here she's uh getting all wet because the sun's coming out so i guess the snow is melting and everything so gosh man that is a nice truck over here what are we rolling on what are we rolling on huh 3512 r20 of course discovery st max cooper tires sure it's a six inch lift we get the footsteps and everything four wheel drive is really taking up okay four wheel drive pro is really taking over the area when it comes to these lifted trucks i'm seeing them more and more looks like we got rough country 2.0 shocks so it's a rough country lift fuel rims and 35 inch tires and i'm assuming they're mud terrains they'll run and low on tread though but yeah all in all that is a pretty nice truck and then we got my truck over here of course this is just the of course, this is just the template. This is where everything begins. I want to do something such as this, but you'll see. I've I have something in mind that's pretty unique, and it's gonna be it's gonna be happening. It's gonna be great for this truck. So I guess we'll head on out here. I'm freezing outside. Ooh, freezing out here, man. So I continue out there, but it is absolutely freezing. My hand is about to fall off the one that I was holding the camera with, and that was Wilt, so he's gonna be buying his truck sometime this year. I know it was supposed to already be done for the long time years of the channel, but there was just some things that prolonged it from him purchasing his diesel truck. So it's going to happen, guys, and when it does happen, I'm gonna be coming along, and it could be anywhere throughout the US, just like how I picked up this truck in Tennessee, so it's gonna be something crazy and really cool for the channel. Of course, we're gonna be collabing all the time, so. All right, let's get home and let's head on out and go somewhere cool. A very important topic today to talk about this truck and it must be discussed today. So let's head on this road now. We have no time to waste. I think a snowstorm is actually coming tomorrow. So yeah, who knows what could happen tonight. with about this truck is that I got a lot of visibility here on the side a lot of visibility there to just turn around and see if the cars are on Silverado it's really not much to see
ago I figured I'd stop at this cool spot. I've never been back here before, but I'd always drive along that highway and then I'd see this amazing view. Look at this, got the truck right here, amazing view. It's kind of loud though, so I don't know if I'll return. Maybe on a day that the highway's not as busy. I know it's right around that rush hour time, so that's probably why there's so many people out here. But what I wanted to talk about with you guys is that I'm gonna try to get a million miles out of this truck. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can go with this truck. I'm gonna try to join that club because there's a giant club on there. If you go on Google, type in million mile Cummins club or whatever, you'll find it. It's one of the first things up there. It's million mile club for the Cummins engine. And then you'll probably see ones for Power Stroke and Duramax as well. But I see a ton of guys that with these Cummins that make way beyond that. And if you go on Ram trucks on YouTube, you'll see a ton of guys. I saw this one truck, 1.4 million miles on the original engine and transmission, which is ridiculous. So I'm going to try to get that on this truck right here. It's going to be, it's going to be quite the adventure. I can't imagine all the places I'm going to travel to with this truck, but that is the end goal for this truck, at least for me. And I want to get, I want to get that far with it. I mean, of course, with the original engine and transmission too. So that's, that's some of the note for and like I said before, it is freezing outside, so I think I'm gonna get back in the truck. There it is, man. Oh, yeah.